Hello everyone, I'm Ange from Prune Magazine. Today we're with Mary Lambert. Yay! <laughs> well, we love you so much, so we're really excited to be doing this with you. So today we'll be playing a really quick game called Rock It or Prune It. Okay. So I'll be listing out a couple of trends. If you love it, say Rock It, and we'll explain why you rock it. And if it's a trend that you hate, yeah. we'll prune it, Okay. and let's discuss. All right. So, Snapchat Spectacles. What's Snapchat Spectacles? <laughs> Snapchat, Snapchat spectacles is, you know Snapchat, right? Yeah. Now basically it's spectacles that yeah. you wear and you get the first person perspective when you Snapchat. Wait, what do you mean? It's this, look. These I are don't, Snapchat I don't have spectacles. So when you wear them. No. Yes, when you wear no. them. Snapchat no, at the same time. No, 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 no. That's gonna cause so many problems. No, no, no. I've read too many Orwellian <laughs> dystopian <laughs> novels that this comes into problem. The world will end because so of So rock this. it or prune it? Prune this. Get oh rid of this. No. I think it's so cool. No, it's dangerous. Do you oh know all God. of the negative implications that this could have? It could destroy the world in the wrong hands, and there are a lot of wrong hands okay, in the world. Okay, okay. Get rid of that. Oh I will no. stop those out. Okay, so what about face tuning photos? Face tuning? Yeah, so oh face God, tuning. I'm like so behind. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> face tuning photos, it's, it's an app where you use to touch up your face, get rid of your blemishes, make mm. you slimmer, make your lips plumper, your eyes bigger. Do you rock it or prune it? I, the, that's a complicated question because I am not the czar of everyone's body or their image, so I can't say what would be best for someone's self-esteem, but I do know that the world and our culture has its own sort of, um, like, you know, uh, like a delegation of what's good or beautiful, right. and, and I feel like we constantly edit our own selves and images, yes, yes. and I think well, there's a real disconnect between the actual self and the perceived self, mm -hmm. and I think that's dangerous. I think we should be really in tune with who we actually are. I say, is it like a face full of makeup on? I'm like, <laughs> you look beautiful. Really organic. Um, I, <laughs> but I think, I think makeup's fun. I think doing fun filters are fun, mm -hmm. but I would, I would question the motivation of face, face tuning. tuning. Okay. I would make sure that, you know, it's maybe, more for experimental, but again, I can't, I can't judge, I can't tell where anybody is in their relationship to their own. So, rock it or prune it? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to prune it. Rock so it. We'll prune it. <laughs> rock it. Okay, what about boomerang? Oh, I don't like that. It makes oh, me yeah. nauseous when I see it. I'm getting old. <laughs> well, I would like to do a live version of boomerang with you okay, right now. Okay, well, I, I'm happy for you. Okay. I want, I want, like, <laughs> if you enjoy it, you should use it, but I can't, per when I see it, it's Should we reenact like, a live version, though? I'll blow a kiss at you okay. and you'll, you'll, you'll grab it. Okay. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> pretty great. That's funny. You did it. Okay. What about glitter lips? Rock it or prune it? I love glitter lips. I think they're really fun. Well, do you sweet. think that it's safe to eat those glitters? I would hope that they would, they would make those provisions, but I don't really trust the FDA, I don't really trust the government in general to protect us. But I mean, I don't think that there's much of a difference between the chemicals or the toxins that they choose to use in products already. In beauty products are like, they can be really scary and I don't think that there's a lot of like regulation that where there should be. So, um, of course I'm getting so political with like all these questions, but I think, I think, Yes. Rocket. Rocket. Let's rock that. Rock I think it's so cute, so you should wear that soon. Okay, I got some. I'm gonna try it. Okay, I can't wait I to see it. I got some today and I was like, I'm gonna try this. We cannot wait to see you wear it. So the next question is, what about 80s inspired hair and makeup? I think that's fine. Yeah. I think that's fun. I mean I I I mean I don't really like having my hair huge like and crimp to high heaven. <laughs> Fun. I, I think, think so I too. think as long as like when if you're having fun and you're enjoying your style, that's what that's what's fat that's what's fashionable. Right. That's what's like cool. That confidence is cool. If you like dig your like you know a sweatband, like I'm who am I? Rocket. Yeah. Rocket rocket. Rocket. What about extra extra long hair down to your knees? I feel like that's dangerous. But I mean, <laughs> But also there are like cultural or religious reasons for having long hair. Mm -hmm. I I rock it. Do your do your long long hair don't care. I agree, and it looks like a mermaid, so why wouldn't you? <sighs> I wanna be a mermaid <laughs> so bad. 
you just brought up the topic of oh, mermaids. I love it. I just, I've always wanted you to look, see one. You're halfway there. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's the nicest thing I've ever said. So. <laughs> Mary, we love you. Where can we follow you and listen to new music? Yeah, I have, um, Bold is out May 5th, and, um, uh, I have uh, MaryLambertSings.com, and I'm on Twitter at MaryLambertSing, Instagram at MaryLambertSing, because I sing. See, follow her. She's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow us. Prune Magazine. Bye.